Grab your seats. So I wanted to let you know that we're still, this is a class designed for one person or a couple, and since we had close to 200, it was a little overwhelming, and we're going to keep journeying. We'll, we'll help figure it out as we go, so just journey with me. If it feels disorganized, there's a reason, because I, I organized it, so <laughs> journey with me. Yeah, so Dave Chandler is gone this week, and he's really going to be stepping up and helping with the organizational part, so it's only going to go uphill from here. So, yeah, journey, he says, journey at me at your own risk. I like it. So let's open in a word of prayer, and we will begin our class. Father, we come before you, and I thank you for just the way you've stirred our hearts. Lord, we've been looking at the gospel, and you've been growing us and being unashamed of it because it is the power of God for salvation. And so, Lord, we have each tasted of this salvation, and it's the sweetest thing that we have and possess. And so, Lord, we want, we're asking that you would grow our hearts, that we would look out at this world and we would have eyes like you for the lost. Lord, I pray um, transform and change us and help us grow in this. For, for some, um, they've made great strides in sharing their faith, and for others, it's the scariest thing they can contemplate. So meet us where we're all at, God, and help us to grow. Help us to be a community that's sensitive to those who th this is um, fearful. Lord, let us love them and journey with them and those who um, have more gifting in this, Lord, help them to teach us that we could learn from the things that they have learned and journeyed. And I just thank you for today that we're going to break up into groups and hear about the way you have transformed our lives. And I pray that it would just keep uniting us as one to, to join together as a community to advance the kingdom of God, to evangelize, to love, to share this truth. And so I pray that that our hearts would, would continue to deepen and grow in this. By, by your grace and your grace alone is our hope. And it's in Christ's name that we do pray. Amen. Amen. Um, where's Tom Hunt? Where'd he go? Tom, can you just share real quickly how it went yesterday with handing out and the jackets and the Yeah, reach out to Tom if you want to ever go down and do that. And, and I know uh, Micah and a couple others, are, they, they go down, you'll see announcements for it. And if you just want to go and observe, you, you don't even have to share. They just will teach you and take you at the pace you want to go at. And so that's a great way uh, to keep growing in this. Well, last week we got into our groups. Um, we're going to go into those again in a little bit this morning. Um, whatever place you were in last week where your group met, that's where you're going to go today. And we're going to spread out a little more in the sanctuary for those who are in there. Uh, I think Greg Kurtz, his, his group, though, is going to go to Classroom Z. That's that first classroom when you walk in. Uh, those in the sanctuary, again, spread out because we have more room. Uh, some of our battles through this class is we're going to have leaders who are going to be gone at different times. And so we're going to have those in their groups will, will be assigned to kind of cover and help when they're gone. So just, we'll just keep working together as we journey. Uh, the blessing uh, is people that you didn't know. I heard so many great things uh, that you got into groups and already met people that you didn't know. And today, the people in your group, we're going to be sharing our testimonies. And so I think one of the great fruits, uh, just even in the group that I had, I had, I think, four different nations 
you know, represented in the group. We had every different age, blue collar, white collar, and everyone just came together in prayer, and our hearts were so united to say, let's take this gospel out. And so the fruit was, was really, really uh, exceptional. Um, so what I want to do as we begin this morning is, there, were there any leaders who were asked to lead a group uh, who were not here last week? If you weren't, can you stand up even so I don't miss? So I got Logan. Remind me your name. I forgot it. Davidson. Okay, so we got um, some groups that we're going to be organizing then. So the next thing is raise your hand if you were not here last week and you didn't get into a group. Perfect. Uh, that group is the, probably the exact number then to jump into Logan's group. So everyone who just raised your hand, when we break up, you're going to jump into Logan's group. And Logan, when you, I guess I can just tell all the leaders this. So thank you for taking all the, the new people. <coughs> um, there's books up here uh, that we're going to be going through, a call to mission. If you did not get a book Last week, when we break up into our groups, please come up here and grab a book, and we'll be laboring through those workbooks. Uh, if you forgot your book, do not grab a new one. Um, just keep using the one you got at home. You won't need them today when we're doing our group, so don't come grab a new book. Um, David is going to be, uh, be sending out an email that's going to kind of tell you each week what we're going to be going over but just roughly is each week the, there's a chapter in this book, and we'll take two weeks on each chapter. And so in it, you, you'll be reading and going through it. Um, any questions that are imperative that you feel like need to be asked before we break up into our groups? Questions? All right. Session one. Session one, we're going to begin... There's a, a group called, uh, that he wants us to memorize, it's, it's called, uh, it's in a mnemonic, and as we're beginning evangelism, we want to start understanding this mnemonic. Uh, there's a verse for each one of the mnemonic fruit, and uh, we'll be memorizing those verses, you know, every other <coughs> week. So we'll be taking in scripture and growing and just meditating on them and looking at them. So if you can find that page uh, where he goes over the fruit. Page 19. Thank you. So I want to just look first. We'll go quickly because we need to break up into our groups. The first thing is we want to be focused on the Father's heart. And that's it. We want to have the heart of God for the lost. And we want to see what is his heart. God, give me your heart for the lost, for people. And so we'll be looking at 2 Peter 3, 9, memorizing that. Um, secondly... Remembering the plight of the lost, and uh, even that rich man and Lazarus that was in this first chapter, to, to really take to heart, don't lose sight of where an unbeliever goes when they die, and that we never just get going through life and forget that what's at stake here is eternal heaven or eternal hell, where the worm never dies, and the descriptions of hell are hideous and horrible, and God, don't let me... Forget that, ignore it, just move on and think about what I like for dinner. And so just th that we're growing and asking God, don't let me lose sight of the, the plight of the lost. And then thirdly, understanding that the harvest is ripe. Um, it's, it's just the workers are few, man. The harvest is plentiful and that we never lose sight. There's just, there's just his elect everywhere. And that we just continue to see that the, the, the America is struggling. I have never seen more openness to the gospel since I've been in ministry. The, the harvest is ripe. This is the time to be entering in and getting people to start talking. And that they'll quickly share their fears if you'll engage in just general conversation. It, it's on their hearts. It's ready to come out. If you don't like politics, people do. And get them talking about the votes and different things, and it will quickly lead into gospel. And then fourthly, he, the I is to be intentional to go. That, that we're not just sitting back waiting. It's, it's very intentional. I am going to be deliberate in, in moving forth and sharing the gospel 
with the lost. If, if you're not intentional in it, uh, you, you, it probably won't be happening. And so it, it, it's very intentional. And it's going to take hearts and a commitment by a whole community as I, I want to be deliberate in going out and reaching the lost and sharing the gospel. And then the fifth is really important. Uh, the T is trusting the Spirit's power because no one can open the eyes of someone born blind. No one can draw anyone to Jesus Christ but the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit uses means and instruments. But I am always just leaning on him, dependent on him, looking to him for the words, looking to him for the, the power, the conversion. We, we are so blessed that we have the Holy Spirit of God. Don't leave him. <laughs> Depend on him. Be led by him. Be filled by the Spirit in our evangelism. And so that, that's our goal is that as we enter into this world, we enter it as transformed people shining the light of God. So that's what we'll be looking at. We'll be doing one of those fruits each series, each chapter. And so if you want um, to be looking at some of those verses and working on them, go ahead. Um, for next week, you're to memorize John 3.16. If you've never memorized that, that would be a good one. Uh, to memorize, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And then John 15, 16, um, we'll be looking at that. Let me just read it to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, what? That you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. And that whatever you ask in the Father's name, he may give to you. So I've appointed that you would go bear fruit. And so we're praying and we want to go bear fruit of God's kingdom and sharing the gospel and people coming to know him. And so we will memorize those two verses for next week. So I want you to be working on those. Um, tool time this week is you're to read the story of the gospel, uh, excellent presentation of the gospel. I want you to read through that. Even be trying to think through the points, the organization of it, uh, memorize maybe the outline of it. And then next week, we'll be discussing that in our group uh, about the gospel and what we're seeing and understanding in that. We're going to talk about what is the role of God in saving a human being, and then what is your role um, in someone being brought to faith? And so we really want to understand the sovereignty of God and my human responsibility and begin clarifying that and your thoughts. If you're a big reader, a, a great book is called Evangelism and the Sovereignty of God by J.I. Packer. And I, I would encourage if you want, it's, just, it's a small book, but <clears throat> one of the best written, I think, on that subject. Um, today in our groups, we will be working on our personal testimonies today now as we break up. And the goal is to, to help you think through how to be succinct, how to make it where it's understandable, not using church words that an unbeliever wouldn't understand. And so we're just going to be working together this morning. Don't, don't be nervous. This is us as the body of Christ helping each other to articulate it, to pray and share over that. And then the action time for this morning is to identify someone that you want to share your testimony with. Someone that you just, hey, this is someone I really want to share this, this testimony that I'm working with. And then we're going to ask the group then, to, will you be praying for this person? And so as a group, we're going to the throne of grace, praying for each person that you want to start being deliberate about and intentional to share this gospel. And so what, what a joy to all be praying together for your friends, family, whoever it is. And then it, it brings this sweet accountability to just say, hey, did it happen? And if it didn't, how can we keep praying? And and so it's just kind of like a whole team working together the way we should to, to see people come to Jesus Christ. And so that's what our action time will be. All right.